You guys remember this saw? Uh, we had the completely locked up motor, right? Well, it's locked up. Remember? Remember it's locked up because there's a bolt stuck up in there. Right? So it's not technically, it's not yet a locked up saw as far as we know. Yep. Still amazes me. And this is interesting, remember? There, everybody. All right. trying not to oh there she goes might have to leave this till next time but anyway so what happens here with this is the two-stroke motor explained really easily right because your fuel goes into your carburetor air goes into the carburetor both of those things together are pushed down into this area first. This is this is cycle one of the two cycle or two stroke motor, right? Is as your piston draws up, it's drawing that air and that fuel into here, and it's spinning around. <clears throat> because your crankshaft is spinning around. I mean, this is going really fast. So, as that piston reaches here, right before explosion, it draws in new air and fuel here, then, boom, your spark plug sparks when the magnet bypasses the coil when the piston is at the very top inside of the motor, right? So, boom, you have explosion, pushes the piston down piston goes right because it's on an eccentric shaft piston goes down pushes all that air and fuel this is your transfer right here this is the outside of your transfer port inside here it's a tube it's a little tunnel that goes up to the top where the plug is so as that explosion pushes the piston down we get fuel and air Pre-compress, it's been compressed about what do they say? 20 to 40 percent, 50 percent, something like that. And it gets pushed up into the combustion chamber, which is where it meets with the spark plug. Piston comes back up, right? Because it's finishing that the the hammer, I call it the hammer on your crank. Right, it's going around velocity and it pushes it back up. So again, piston comes up and it's going so fast that it hits TDC, top dead center. As that hits maximum height, the piston, plug fires, plug sends a <clears throat> spark, which ignites the fuel an air mixture together sends the piston back down right now as that pistons coming up it is drawing in air and fuel and it's pushing out exhaust <clears throat> as that pistons going back down it's actually sucking in on the exhaust Right? It's just a vacuum. That's all that these are is a vacuum. It's very simple. So that's the two-stroke motor fully illustrated for you now and explained. I hope that helps you guys understand. The saws are very delicate machines. I mean, all this stuff in here, there's a little 
little thin rubber uh, diaphragm in here. It goes up and down. It's got a metal plate on it that pushes against like a little wishbone shape. It's called a dog. Uh, or it's called your lifter for your needle valve. There's a little tiny needle valve that regulates the fuel that, that comes in comes in through the through the jets, right? These are your jet adjusters. Your jets are, are up top. And as that moves up and down, that regulates the amount of fuel by throttle. And it's all caused by suction. There's a little air hole there. If that if there's crud in here, that's gonna send it off. So saws are delicate. Thanks for hanging in there. We're gonna finish this at a later date and time, probably.